Why everybody wanna bring me up? I'm six and I'm only six and oh. I just got something to say real quick. Everybody wanna retweet. I'm only six and oh. Talking about come on man. Y'all y'all know what time it is, man. I'm only six and oh, and everybody wanna start bringing me up. All of a sudden. I'm trying to figure out why everybody wanna on Twitter going crazy. On Twitter going so crazy talking about this, that, and the third. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Gonna retweet. Earl gonna retweet his little buddy. After that. Gonna retweet his little buddy. Man, y'all crazy. I'm six and oh. That's I'm only six and up. What is going on here? What's 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 all the fuss about? I'm trying to figure out what's all the fuss about. I'm trying to figure out what's all the fuss about. I'm a little six and oh fighter. I'm just trying out. I'm just trying to make it. Why has everybody got something to say all of a sudden? Everybody got something. Everybody, cause niggas know what time it is. I already told y'all I'm not playing. I've been telling y'all I'm not playing with niggas. That was an end. Not even that. That was an off night. If you really want to be real, I don't got no excuses. But every night not gonna be your best night. And that night, damn sure wasn't my best night. I'm in there. I wasn't even looking for the fucking knockout. I was not looking for the knockout. What's good? What's good? It's the one, the only. But what do I know? Boxing. Back at y'all with some news, man. So what you just heard was Keyshawn Davis basically sound off on Errol Spence. Um, before I even get into it, um, because this is actually kind of funny, kind of came out of nowhere, but then again, it kind of didn't. Um, but but let me go ahead and show you the tweet that, that started all of this, okay? So bring it in. So you see Keisha, well, Errol Spence t uh, type tweeted, Frank Martin really liked that. Keyshawn responded by saying Terrence Crawford really liked that. And for y'all that don't know, uh, this was while Keyshawn Davis was fighting uh, on a top rank card on Friday. Earl Spence tweeted this. So basically for y'all that don't know, um, Frank Martin uh, is an up and coming fighter. I think he's from Detroit or something like that. Um, but he's up and coming um, and, he, and he's promoted by Errol Spence Jr. Um, Keyshawn, him and Keyshawn obviously fighting the same weight class. Um, and, and Keyshawn, when, 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 when Errol Spence tweeted this during Keyshawn's fight, it was, I guess it was uh, more so uh, disres disrespect or whatnot. Keyshawn being a silver medalist um, on the Olympic team, you know, uh, well, I think he was a silver medalist. I think he played silver, right? Um, but it was, it was, you know, weird because Keyshawn was actually a pro. He only had like two or three fights. I think he had like two fights. No, I maybe I think they, they just had one fight. He might have just had one fight, uh, but but was able to qualify for the Olympics because um, now you know you're, you're able to go pro. Um, if you 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 can you can fight in Olympics and, and you can turn pro and fight in a, for the Olympics if you have. Like only like I think like fewer than three pro fights or something like that. Um, whereas in, in, in America has just made this, uh, they just um, you know opened up a rule for this. Whereas other countries like they you know they've been allowing you know fighters to go uh, put that that are pro to fight you know on the Olympic team. Uh, nevertheless. Um, Errol Spence uh, promotes Frank Martin. Uh, Frank Martin, who has been in there, let me see. He's up and coming, uh, what was the dude's name? He's been in there with uh, was it Jackson Martinez. I think his name was Jackson Martinez. That's like the most notable name on his resume. Jackson Martinez, for y'all that don't know who he is, I think his name is Jackson Martinez. But um, J he, for y'all that don't know Jackson Martinez, um, he was the one, Roly, him and Roly fought, and everybody thought he beat Roly. Everybody thought he outboxed Roly, everybody thought he beat Roly, uh, but they gave it to Roly by unanimous decision. Um, and everybody felt like it was a robbery. They felt like Ro Roly should have lost that fight. But then uh, Jackson Martinez ended up getting knocked out by Richard Comey, like, I think it was like in the sixth round. 
And but Frank Martin um, also stopped Jackson Martinez at the end of the tenth round. It was a tenth round fight, and he ended up stopping Jackson Martinez uh, in the tenth round. Um, many people um, actually that's that's actually <laughs> it's funny because Frank Martin is I guess getting uh, Errol Spence into a lot of uh, a lot of beef because um, that's actually what started Roley versus Ta uh, Roley versus Errol like. You know, that's what started the, the, the issue between Roley and Errol. Errol had basically stated that he won, he would like, he thinks Frank Martin uh, is ready for Roley and can beat Roley. And Roley got upset at that and said, no, nah, I, I want you, Errol Spence. I want to fight you. So it's funny. Um, uh, I guess I guess Frank Martin got some big shoes to fill because Errol is really backing him. And Errol is not wanting to back a lot of fighters. Um, but, you know, Keyshawn, who... Uh, who is uh, under the tutelage? He may not he doesn't not 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 trainer, but he's you know one of uh, Terence Crawford's proteges or whatnot. You know you know that's why he you know retweeted. Well, Terence Crawford is really like that. So basically saying like you know you 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 need to worry about Terence Crawford and uh, don't worry about me. And as you can see, he, he kind of went on a rant, rant about <laughs> a rant on. Um, Errol Spence. I mean, personally, you know, I, I would like to see Frank Martin and Keyshawn Davis, but I know for a fact that's not going to happen anytime soon. Both are up and coming, and just the business of boxing will not allow that at this point. Not only are they both up and coming, but when you have two up and coming fighters, normally you don't pit them against each other. Um, now, they do in the UK, uh, like Joe Joy, uh, well, Joe Joy versus Daniel Dubois, like they'll, they'll do that in the UK. Um, uh, George Groves versus uh, George Groves versus um, uh, James DeGale, uh, Chris Eubank versus uh, Billy Billy Joe Saunders. They'll they'll match they'll match them you know some top contenders up with each other in the UK. But like in America, they they really don't pit the um, the contenders against each other. Uh, more so uh, on top of that, you know Frank Martin with Errol Spence, so he's under Al Heyman and the PBC's tutelage, which is with Showtime. And um, and uh, Fox and Keyshawn Davis, he was with the zone, but now he's with um, now he's with top rank. So I doubt that 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 fight that I mean that that it, it definitely wouldn't happen right now, as they would always say, um, it, it doesn't make sense right now, but it definitely would. It, it, I mean, I, I could see it happen in the future, but it, I mean, it would have a, lo a lot of things with boxing would have to change in order for it to happen. Somebody would have to go on get signed with somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just, it's too many obstacles in the way for that fight to happen right now. Um, or, you know, with, you know, Keyshawn being with top rank or whatnot. Uh, as of right now, I definitely think Keyshawn is the more polished fighter. I think that he, he has a, a, a bright future ahead of him. Um, and he's he's with top rank. Top rank is, is known for making um, superstars, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, Terrence Crawford, Manny Pacquiao. You know, now they have Shakur. And, you know, now they have, uh, you know, Keyshawn. So, I, I, I definitely can see a, um, a promising career with Keyshawn. Frank Martin is also very good up and coming. Um, I, I see I, I, I see Keyshawn getting somewhere before Frank Martin just because of the push and, and then him being a, a, a silver medalist. I, I see Keyshawn. Um, I see Keyshawn making um, making more of a statement before Frank Martin, but that doesn't take anything away from Frank Martin. Um, I just think, think Keyshawn is on a road, on a path to uh, get a title before Frank Martin would. But regardless, that'll be a great fight in the future. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about both fighters, Keyshawn Davis, Frank Martin. Uh, who do you think will win? But what do I know?